hey guys welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Blair welcome to my beauty space so for today's video I am going to review the brand new Shiseido Synchro Skin Radiant Lifting Foundation so this is the new foundation that Shiseido came out this year last year they came out with the famous Shiseido Synchro Skin Self Refreshing Foundation and I have already did a review on this one you guys really love that review I still get views till today so I figured why not do a new review on the brand new Shiseido Synchro Skin Foundation this time it's the Radiant Lifting version it's also oil free SPF 30 so for today's video I'm going to try this one on and I'm going to also put this one on on my left side of the face so that way you guys can see the difference between these two single skin foundations so yeah if you're interested my thoughts my first impression on the brand new single skin radiant lifting foundation just please keep watching all right, to start, I have already applied all my skincares. So the last step I need to do before applying the foundation is a primer. So for today, I'm going to use my recent favorite primer, which is from Bobbi Brown. This is the Primer Plus Mattifier. So this is the primer right here. I absolutely love this one for all your control and per blurring. So I'm just gonna apply it on both sides of my cheeks so that way we control the wearables. Have you guys learned that term in biology? I feel like I learned that term all the time in high school in biology, like control the wearables. You have the subject item, then you have the, um, what's the other comparison item, then you have to control the wearables. So I'm gonna just use this primer all over my face, but mainly just on my T-zone and my um, chin, cause that's where I need the most oil control. My cheeks, Usually it's fine, so I just, you know, put a little bit, but not like a ton. So yeah. All right, now for the foundation. So this basically is a radiant lifting version of the self refreshing foundation. So it has the same exact packaging and everything. And this time I learned. I got the shade 250 sand because in my last foundation review you guys were like oh i love this foundation but the color doesn't match you so this time i go four shades darker than the first round so we'll see so here this is a foundation looks like as you can see this is more of like a clear glass versus the frosty glass from the self refreshing and this is a color right here it's 250 sand so here, let me put these two together so you guys can see the difference. As you guys can see, one is definitely lighter than the other. And the packaging, this is frosted. This is a glass, kind of like a clear glass. So yeah, we'll see today. So for today's video, I am going to use a brand new beauty blender. This is the Dream Store. And I got this during the Ulta 21 days of sale, so that's very nice. I'm going to use two fresh ones, both the Dream Store one, so that way we control the wearables. So let's start applying. All right, let's start with the brand new one, which is the Synchro Skin Radiant Lifting Foundation. And you also open it up like this. Then I'm going to just put it on the back of my hand first, so you guys can see the color. Oh, this is a good color. So this is 250 sand. You can see the texture is pretty runny. It's pretty luminous. So I'm gonna just use this Wetted Beauty Blender to apply it. Wow, somehow it's still kind of light. So this foundation definitely is on the lighter side. So I definitely recommend you shade up. Just look at that. Okay, I can see the comment coming again, be like, this foundation is still not matching. But you know what? It's better than the first round, so I might also take it back so that I can exchange for a darker shade. This is the thing. Now, you still can't swatch it inside of Sephora. So I just bought it online. You know, with online shade matching, this is just hard. But yeah, this is definitely still darker. Okay, I guess if Shiseido has a new foundation coming out next year, 
maybe I'll finally make it right but okay so this is the side of the mm, new radiant lifting can you guys see besides the color just see the texture and everything do you guys think this is good somehow I feel like it held up a little bit like can you guys see it literally kind of peeled up don't know if it's fighting with the primer or my skincare but yeah this is the side with the new radiant lifting foundation this is my own skin color I just think coverage is pretty decent it's a medium coverage I think it's beautiful as well and with a radiant um, finish you can actually build it up without being clicky so I really love that so yeah this is the radiant lifting side Alright, so now on my left side, let's put on the Synchro Skin Self Refreshing Foundation. This is last year's version. I still really like it, but as you guys can see, I didn't use like that that much. I use about like one third. I just, I don't know. I don't know why I didn't reach this foundation as much as I usually would. Well, I guess like being quarantined is one reason. But I think other reason is because... I just prefer a, like a radiant finish nowadays like very natural on the rare occasions that I go out and just you know do whatever so yeah as you can see this color also doesn't match but it's okay we're gonna you know use a bronzer or something to make it work but yeah as you guys can see this is the finish it's drastically different, huh? It's very different. Plus this one, I think has a higher coverage. So you definitely use less pump. Maybe that's also why I didn't use a lot because honestly, one or two pump is enough because it's already kind of like a, you know, matte finish. So that way you don't want to build it up too much to the point that it's kicking and stuff. But yeah, this is, the self-refreshing side, this is a radiant lifting side, as you guys can see. There's a pretty big difference, right? Alright, for the concealer today, I'm going to use a more natural concealer. So I'm going to use the Joa Beauty Truly Yours Dark Circle Concealer. This one, I don't know why nobody talk about it, but I think this is a dupe for the Shallow Tilbury uh, Eraser Concealer. Maybe even better and way cheaper. So it also comes with this doll foot. And then you also twist it up to have the product coming out. So I just... Look at that. Look how natural that is. I just put it on like this. Um, not even, maybe a little bit, cause I love to put some on my chin. So when we compare the two foundation, I'm not even gonna focus on the area. I already put on concealer, cause you know, maybe I'll compare them to see how the concealer wears with them, but not like the after effect. You know what I mean? Cause we introduce a new wearable <laughs> into the comparison experiment. <laughs> It sounds like my biology professor, but that's okay. Wow, look at this concealer. How nice, right? This truly is my favorite, like especially for the summertime for a natural look. Go get it. All right, for the powder today, I am only going to set my under eye and my chin because I want to see how the foundations hold up on their own. So I'm going to use a uh, compact which is by YSL it's a Tushi Eclat 3D all over glow powder this is in the shade universal I love this powder this is so beautiful this is a powder that I kept in my purse for any kind of touch up as you guys can see it kind of has that glow so I'm gonna just take a brush this is the Nazmin Karari collab with BH Cosmetics I love it I feel like it is dupe for like NARS brushes, but way cheaper. So you gotta love that. So I'm going to just only set my eyelid and my under eye and my chin. Basically where I put my concealer. The rest of the face, just let them hold up on their own and see which one looks better. All 
All right, that's it. I'm done with the base. So now I'm going to film another video trying out something very exciting for the eyes, face, and lips. So stay tuned for that video as well. After I've done that video, I'm going to check in with you guys to see how the whole base hold up, especially after the whole face is done. So yeah, I'll be right back. Hey guys, so first checking right now, I just finished doing a review video on another collection. So now let's look at the skin. What do you guys think? To be honest, I'm not really impressed with both right now. Somehow my skin just start peeling. If you guys can see, like here, see that? There's a lot of peeling. Also on this side too, there's a bunch of peeling right here. So I'm wondering if, you know, the primer I use that doesn't really match well with the foundation or is that the skincare? I honestly don't know, but I have to point out that there is a bunch of peeling on both sides. So it's not just one side. Um, but when it comes to just the overall look of the face, I'd say that they're actually pretty close. Like, what do you guys think? I feel like this side is starting to look better. Maybe it's the self-refreshing that's like generating, you know, those, I don't know, like self-refresh. This side is still glowing, but at the same time, I just don't know, like it's starting to just like fading it off a little bit. To be honest, when I first put it on both sides, I like the radiant lifting side better because it looks more natural. Like the self-refreshing side, it feels and it looks kind of made up. Like I don't want that look. I want a more natural look. But after wearing for like an hour, I feel like this side is holding up really nicely. But this side is starting to kind of like slagging off. So let me know what do you think right now, which side is better? I personally actually routine for the self-refreshing side. I'm not going to lie. I think this side is better right now. So yeah, that is the first check-in and I'll check in again later. Especially I'm gonna go to dog park. So I'm gonna be outside under the sun. Then I'm definitely gonna do a check-in after the dog park. So you guys can see the performance of both sides. All right, guys, a second checkup right here. So it's been roughly two and a half hours since I put it on the foundation. I haven't gone to the dog park yet, but I did film another video. Yeah, I'm very productive today. Today is filming day. So now if I look close up, I think I like the self-refreshing side better just because it's less patchy. Like the hydrating side, if you guys can see, there's little patches all over my face which is not good because the last thing I want is patchy face like I'm so afraid of a KK face that's why I have high hopes for the hydrating side because I thought it would not be kiki but it literally has so many patches going on so yeah this is yeah so far, I think I like the self-refreshing side better. And as you guys can see, this side also looks more just fresh, you know? Like I truly think that they can self-refresh. Like this side, I feel like you can clearly say that it has been worn, like it has been worn out a little bit. Also, just from like the freshness of the look, I feel like the self-refreshing set, it truly self-refreshes. Like it literally looks actually better than when I first put it on. When I first put it on, it looks so made up, but now it actually looks really good. But the hydrating radiance lifting side, it looks kind of worn out. It looks like I have worn makeup, it has been on my face for a while and it's starting to sliding off. That's the you know look that it presents to me. So now I would say on second checkup, I'm still team self-refreshing. So yeah, that's that. I will go to dog park now and I will update you once I got back. All right guys, so right now it is 11.51. So it's been like a good eight hours since the last time I checked in. So this is what the makeup looks like. I would say that I'm pretty impressed with how long they stay on. To be honest, because not only I wear it inside the house, I wear it to the dog park. And then I also kind of like touch my face and everything. 
when I'm in the dog park, you know, because it's hot and then you're with a dog who sometimes maybe even the dog kind of gets some of my foundation. I'm not sure. But yeah, it's been like a long time and I ate dinner and then I lay down on the couch, watch TV and I roll around. But somehow they still stay pretty decently. So I'm very impressed with the long wearing. In terms of which side I think is better, I would say that I still really love the self-refreshing side because it just looks fresher. It truly feel like it is self-refreshing. Like, you know, it still feel pretty fresh even though I've been wearing for like a good 10 hours now. But this side, I would say it's good, but I can see some of the foundations already like starting to fading off. So yeah, and then it says it's radiant, but I don't see a lot of radiant. In terms of lifting, I also don't think it's lifting anymore. But this side is really keeping pretty well. Then when I look close up in the mirror, I can still see this side has a lot of like peeling off. Like, see, if I just roll my fingers, you can see the product literally coming off. But this side, it stays relatively well, but there is some peeling around my under eye and my nose, but under eye that could be concealer. So I wouldn't just say that it's the foundation. The rest of the face actually stayed on fairly nice. So the final verdict on the Shiseido Synchro Skin Radiant Lifting Foundation is that I need to test it out one more time with a different primer, maybe even different skincare because it really peels off on me, which is a bummer. So I can only give it a seven right now because I don't like my foundation peel off, especially a radiant lifting foundation. That's the last thing I would expect from a radiant lifting foundation. So that is kind of disappointing. But um, the good thing is that I think it's very beautiful, especially when you first like put it on. If I use the right primer, hopefully it won't start to peel, then maybe I'll fall in love with it. So yeah, right now, um, this one is kind of a bummer. I cannot really recommend it right now. I need to find out what are the compatible primers and skincare with this one. Then maybe I can share with you guys. And when it comes to the comparison between the Synchro Skin Self Refreshing and the Radiant Lifting, I would say that this self refreshing one hands down. Every check in, I love this set better. I asked my friends in the dog park, they all love this set better. So, yeah, the comparison between these two, this one still wins. All right, that's it. This is today's video. I hope this video helps you guys when it comes to um, picking up which foundation will be better suited for you and what they look like in person. So thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys. Let me know in the comment section down below what other foundations you want me to review. I can do more comparisons so you guys can see the difference. So yeah, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.